We're here with Jim McCann and Janet Lee, the creators of the Eisner Award winning Return of the Dapper Men. Congratulations, you two. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Crazy. You've been a little crazy, it yeah? Was a little crazy, yeah. We, um, we were just kind of hanging out at that point, and to be the last name called after that, that very dramatic pause where there was a tie, mm -hmm. it was crazy. It was amazing. Yeah, this is the first tie ever, yeah? Uh, yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and I'm glad it gave us an extra chance. Well, and, and Return of the Dapper Men has had kind of this long burn going with it. I mean, it's been it's been out for a while, and it just keeps sort of gaining momentum. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's honestly, I mean, it's there's a, been a lot of word of mouth, especially among like uh, librarians and educators, and on Twitter and social media, people are just really telling their friends about it, which is so much more than what we could have ever asked for. I mean, it was a, it was our baby, basically, and just kind of existed in our world. And, you know, I mean, we thought, well, here's a calling card, you know, for future things. But then it, it turned out to be a really pretty baby, and uh, people liked it. So, yeah. So, the, let's start with the story, and then we'll get to the art in just a second. So, where did this idea generate from? You might want to start with or, the art. All right, I'll start with the art. <laughs> so, where did this idea generate from? Well, um, I was a gallery artist in Nashville, and um, Jim and I had been friends for about 15 years beforehand. Every year for Christmas, he would come and visit me. Um, one year, I guess about two years ago, uh, we had taken I had taken down several shows and had artwork around the house. And Jim found three pieces that he really liked. He liked uh, a big six foot tall Magritte inspired painting of men in striped suits with green bowler hats falling from the sky. And a little ornament with a boy with a, a steampunk boy and a robot girl. And about two months later, he sent me an email and said, I have this idea for a graphic novel. And it ended up being like the first lines of Dapper Men or the, first, or the pitch lines. And it was, I think my reaction was, it's like Neil Gaiman meets Peter Pan. So that was how it started. Anything to add? Uh, well, um, like Janet said, the art, I mean, I, I brought, I couldn't bring the six foot piece home back with me because at that time I lived in New York and there was nowhere to play, put it and JetBlue wouldn't let me check it. So, um, but no, it, um, sorry, there was somebody. Um, and, but yes, no, uh, I just kept staring at them and I was wondering, why are these men dressed identically? Why are they raining down on this town? And why does my brain keep wanting to put this steampunk guy and then this little robot girl who can fly all together? And one night, everything just kind of went ka -chunk. And uh, like that's gears. when I, yeah, like gears. like gears. And it just went bam. And, um, and so then uh, Janet and I, it's a very organic process. Um, I'll, I, you know, we'll, I'll write down some ideas and definitely know like the overall plot and we'll talk things out. It's a, it's a trilogy, so we know the full character arcs of our main characters. Um, but then I'll get pages, I'll get pages, art board, um, in and, uh, wow, thanks guy. He, he would like to say thank you. He's a fan. Um, we just got video bombed. Now, um, what up? And then, um, so yes, I, I'll get pages in and it'll affect what I'm writing next because I'll see something like an amazing building that she's done and I think, I want to go inside there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'll, oh, it's like, <laughs> I, I'm keeping from video bombs. You're your own bouncer, yeah. Yeah, I'm the muscle. That's your new t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Or you put on a bowler hat. I'm there the you go. So your artistic style and all, yeah. where, where, what are your inspirations here? Oh, and we have art, actually. Ooh. Gonna, this is from the next book that's coming out, uh, Time of the Dapper Men. But I, um, I am really inspired by children's illustrations, by uh, classic poster art, um, by art in general. I mean, I, I, I can't really say one thing because um, I feel like it all sort of goes in and cooks and comes out, but um, I started doing decoupage and hope that you know thankfully when oh, sorry, jim was man. showing um was showing uh, oops, uh was showing uh archaea uh sketches for the um uh, for, for the pitch 
they liked the style with the collage mm -hmm. and um, said to go ahead and do it. So I got greenlit for a decoupage comic book. I see. So the, so all of the art then is is in this style. Yeah. It's all layered yeah, and decoupage. It's all decoupage onto wood. I have maybe two pages that I started started doing on paper, but it was curling too much. So I went to wood to hold it all down. And so everything is a frame is like a piece of art that you can put on the wall. This is about five different layers, I think. It is. Everything's hand cut with scissors. Yep. And James I'll do like same. pages of books and things underneath it as well, or art paper, and just kind of keep, la it's very organic. You just kind of keep layering or taking away until it's done. So how long of a process is this? I'm actually pretty fast about it. I can do about four to five pages a week. Mm -hmm. um, I thought artboard was going to be faster for me than the decoupage, but one is like baking and one is like making stew. So um, the decoupage ends up being like, uh, you just sort of play with it until it's done. It's about the same amount of time. So you guys have, have mentioned the upcoming book. It's uh, what, can, Tell us a little bit about it. Give us a hint. Well, uh, spoilers if you have not read the first book yet. <laughs> but it picks up um, a bit of time afterwards, no pun intended. Um, and Aiden has grown up a little bit, and he... Um, in, at the end of Return of the Dapper Men, his mentor, basically, um, is no longer with us. And so he finds out that he is the Dapper Man for Anarev, for this world. And uh, so it's about, if the first one was about destiny and change and growing up, this one is about kind of adolescence and... Um, starting to realize what it is that you're supposed to do and adjusting to that. You know, like if you have these talents, but you don't necessarily know how to use them. And then also walking around and kind of stretching your comfort zone and see how big the world actually is. Um, and this is his time. And is he going to embrace that or run away from it? Anything to add? You know, I think um, the the last book was uh, was very circumspect. It was about a specific city, and I think the most exciting thing for me artistically is that now we get to explore the entire planet. So Jim's come up with different cities, different creatures. Um, robot gorillas are scary. I can tell you that right now. Um, and there's a there's just a lot of, of traveling and seeing. It's just a much broader scope for the book itself. So it's very fun. And that's due out in the spring. Is that yes. what I'm hearing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep. Or now, now there's no pressure, you know, to uh, to make it any good. We were no, just gonna no, phone no. it in before, but now I guess it has to be good. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this up the way we always do by asking you, what's your issue? What is that comic that you've read that's so out there, so crazy that you just find yourself talking about it? Janet. The one that sprung to mind for me was non-player. Loved it. Um, loved the art style. Loved the um, and and he just won. Nate just won the Russ Manning. So you yeah, should that's pick newcomer. it out. Yes, if you did not get it, you should absolutely. But um, I love artistically what he does, and I love the theme of the story where it's almost like a world within a world. Love it. And I mean, I've been reading comics for 25 years now. So the more re the most recent one was actually Echoes by Josh Fialkov. Um, the collection's coming out soon, but honestly, the um, the twist and the way that uh, the way that mental health issues are dealt are dealt with in it, and the mystery that's at its core, it honestly kept you guessing. And I was so glad that I bought all five issues at once because I kind of would have punched a comic shop um, if uh, if I had to wait. Uh, each month for it to come out so I read it in one sitting and it's it's brilliant I have to check it out well thank you very much congratulations again on the Eisner and talk to you next year excellent thank you, thank you. bye